Welcome to the National Express West Midlands Pensnet Fleet. This is Joe's Bus Train Plan Lift Adventures. As you know, we cover the buses, so I'm going to take you on a tour and a look at all the different fleets of the buses that are operated from the Pensnet Bus Depot. Let's go. So then, the first bus we come to, uh, which I'm viewing you, is an ADL Enviro 200, fleet numbered 729. And it is a T-Reg, and it is one of the unique ones. Well, there's actually two T-Reg Enviros at Penn's Net Depot. And this one is fleet numbered 729. And uh, it is a smaller one, and the interior of the bus is similar to what you'll find with other different uh, competing bus companies. Now, this bus was new to Thompson South Bank in 2009. It was then acquired by the ATG Group in 2013, which was part of the West Midlands Special Needs Transport, and then later became IGO until they went into administration in 2019. So, in 2019, this bus was acquired by National Express and then was allocated to Pensnet Depot in 2020. As these Enviro 200s are built for the tender routes like the 28s, the 17h, 24s, 14a and also the 10a and 10c which operate within the Stourbridge area so there is a handful of different tendered routes that Pensnet do tend to operate. Now the next bus we come to is a long wheel based ADL Enviro 200, fleet numbered 836 and this one is a standard ADL Enviro 200 compared to the last one I've shown you. Now this bus was new to West Bromwich Garage in 2014. In 2018 it was transferred to Acox Green Garage and then in 2019 which was a year later it was transferred to Wolverhampton and then in 2020, it was transferred to Pensnet Garage, where it remained ever since. Now, these ADL Enviro 200s are mainly seen on the major routes, like the 19s, the 18s, the 5s, the 2s, and quite a handful of routes that Pensnet do tend to allocate the ADL Enviro 200s to. Now, the next bus we come to is a double-decker fleet numbered 6102, and it's an ADL Enviro 400 double MC. Now, this bus was new to Pensnet Garage in 2015 and received branding for the number 9 route from Stourbridge to Birmingham. It was then transferred to Acox Green Garage in 2020 and returned to Pensnet that same year. Now, this bus does still make appearances on the number 9, even though it's now a platinum route, but it does routes like the 6, the 12s, 12A, 13, 13A occasionally, and also the 126 route, uh, which is the fast Dudley to Birmingham. And sometimes they make appearance on the X10 to Gornal Wood, and especially the urban routes as well. Now the next bus we come to is 6929. It's another ADL Enviro 400 double MC, but this time it's in the grey livery, as this is a platinum bus. Now, this platinum bus is branded for the number 9 route uh, from Birmingham to Stourbridge. And this was new to Pensnet Garage in 2019. And this bus features free Wi-Fi, USB ports, uh, stop start, and also next stop announcements as well. Now, this bus is 4760-4760, and this is an ADL Enviro 400. And this bus was new to Yardley Wood Garage in 2008. In 2015, it was transferred to West Bromwich Garage and made appearances on the 87 service that goes Dudley to Birmingham and the 82 to Bearwood. And then in 2021, it was transferred over to Pensnet Garage. And these were the replacement for the much-loved Dennis Trodden LX 400s, which have now sadly gone over to Wolverhampton and Warsaw garages. And to be honest, I really like the Dennis Trodens being at Pensnet because they're one of my favourite vehicles 
out of the whole of the National Express West Midlands fleet. But I do like the double-decker buses, though, because, as you know, sitting on the upper deck, seeing what's coming up, and this really is one of the best favourites when you ride a double-decker bus. Now, this bus here, 6937, is an ADL Enviro 400 double MC, and this is yet another platinum bus, and this one is branded for the X10 Birmingham to Gordon Wood. Now, the interesting thing about this bus is it doesn't have any mirrors on. Instead, it's got cameras. So it's really interesting. And this bus was new to Pensnet Garage in 2019. And this makes good appearances on the X10 from Birmingham to Gornal Wood. And as you know, I'm a massive fan of these uh, buses, especially being the Platinum buses uh, from other bus depots. Now, this bus here is 2102. It's a Volvo B7 RLE with a right eclipsed body and the first single decker vehicle to be painted into a heritage livery. Now, this bus here has the dark blue and cream livery, uh, which is like sandy yellow. And uh, this bus was new to ACOX Green Depot in 2012 and then transferred to Pensnet the following year, which was 2013 now this bus here in 2018 was painted into this heritage livery of the west midlands pte the passenger transport executives and you would see these buses plowing around the black country brawley hill dudley stourbridge neverton and all parts of the dudley area and even in parts of samwell and as you might know this is one of my favorite of the Volvo B7 RLEs in the National Express West Midlands fleet. Now then, this is 2102 sister, 2103. And this is another Volvo B7 RLE with a right eclipse body. Now this bus is not in the dark blue and cream livery. This is actually the crimson red. Now all these Volvos used to be red and white. And now they've been painted into crimson red. Now, this bus was also new to Acox Green Garage and then transferred to Pensnet Garage. So, it started at Acox Green in 2012, transferred to Pensnet in 2013, which was the following year. Now, the next bus we come to is yet another t reg ADL Enviro 200, except this one is fleet numbered 730. Now, this bus was new to Thompson South Bank in 2009. It was then acquired by West Midland Special Needs Transport in 2013, which of course became IGO until they entered administration in 2019. It was then acquired by National Express West Midlands in 2019, but then the same year it was allocated to reserve. But then in 2020, it was allocated to the Pensnet Depot so it could cater for all the tendered routes that Pensnet do. Now, the next bus we come to is an ATL Enviro 200, fleet numbered 731. Now, 731 uh, was new to Weaver Newbury in 2011. Now, Newbury is located in the Thames Valley, heading south. It was then acquired by National Express Dundee and allocated to Dundee in 2014 now dundee is located in scotland and national express dundee became explore dundee just before the purchase to mcgills and then in 2017 it went to national express west midlands perry bar garage and then 2018 it transferred back to dundee but to reserve but by the time Pensnet introduced the 28, formerly known as the 287, it was allocated to Pensnet Garage of that year. Now we are viewing you 824, which is an ADL Enviro 200 and was new to Pensnet Garage in 2013 and received branding for the 222 Merry Hill to Dudley service. But by the time the 222 was numbered the 2, the branding disappeared and it w was a sad time to see the loss of the amazing 222 branding from this amazing vehicle. 
Now this Boss 2097 is a Volvo B7 RLA with a right eclipse urban body. Now this Boss was new to Pensnet Garage in 2012 and this received branding for the old X96 Wollaston Farm to Wren's Nest which is located in Upper Gornal. Now the X96 was one of my favourite routes uh, from the Pensnet Garage especially to have the lovely yellow branding on the outside of the bus and they replaced the old Mercedes buses that used to do the route but sadly in 2018 the X96 was renumbered to the 8 and all the branding was vanished and then in 2020 the 8 was removed from the Wren's Nest Estate area and was rerouted to Wolverhampton, meaning there is no more iconic route like the old X96 anymore. Only Wollaston Farm to Dudley and then on to Wolverhampton. But it was a good route to be honest. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this amazing video of all the fleet list from National Express West Midlands uh, Pensnet Depot. There will be more depot fleet allocations to see, uh, which will be here on Joe's Bus Train Plane Lift Adventures, the best YouTube channel that you can name of all time.